Good morning, everyone. How are you doing this morning? Today is the first day of December 2020. It's cold outside. Uh, it's early. Uh, and I thank you for joining us this morning. Um, you know, when I think about the first month of December, I think not only is, I mean, the first day of December, not only is it the first day of a new month, it's also, for many of us, the first day of the last month of 2020. You know, and over the course of the last several months, um, if you're like me, you've probably heard a lot. I can't wait till we get through 2020. I just want to see 2021 uh, and uh, see 2020 get in the background and, and go behind me. Uh, as, as, it's funny how God works. Uh, I don't want to keep you too long this morning because really I don't, uh, my devotion's more of a thought today. Uh, and my thought about it is, is as I think about going through 2020, you know, it's, it's that word that kind of sticks out to me because everybody always talks about it. You hear, you, you've heard it throughout the whole year. I just want to get through this. Uh, I want to get through this uh, cancer treatment. I just want to get through this surgery. I just want to get through this um, trial, whatever you may be going through. I just want to get through this financial struggle. Uh, and I think a lot of times when we, when we stop and think about what we're saying, right, there's, there's, some, there's a lot of truth to it. Uh, 2020, uh, 2020 has been rough for some, for some families. It's been tough for some people. But you know what? We're going to get through this. And um, it brings me to a verse that I want to focus on this morning. And my verse that I have is found in uh, the 14th chapter of the book of Acts. Um, Acts is a, a very interesting book. And I would encourage you to read um, Acts, the whole, uh, the whole book uh, in and of itself. I would encourage you to read that. Um, but Acts chapter 14 and the verse I want to focus in on is verse number 22. Uh, and listen to the words of this verse. Acts 14, 22 says, Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. Um, this, is, this is Paul. And of course, in the beginning of this, uh, in the Styria, uh, Paul was, uh, was stoned and was attacked, and he had gone through much tribulation. But then, uh, later on in the chapter, he winds up going back to the very place. But in the middle of all of this, verse 22 starts out by saying, confirming the souls of the disciples. You know, we as Christians, we have a work to do, uh, and that work is to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with those that are around us. Um, 2020 has been tough, but you know what? God's been good. God hasn't changed. God hasn't lost his seat on the throne. Uh, God hasn't lost control. Uh, and as a matter of fact, God is just as much in control today in 2020 as he was in 2019, as he was five years ago, as he was 10 or 15 years ago. Wherever you are, God is still the same. God has not changed. Uh, his authority has not changed. Uh, he still sits on the throne in heaven, and he still controls uh, all that is going on. Now, we can sit there and easily sit back and say, well, you know, I've got all these problems and all these trials and the tribulations. But as I said in the beginning, right, normally when we talk about our trials, when we talk about our tribulations and our troubles, we often talk about, I can't wait till I get through them. Uh, I can't wait till I get through this uh, obstacle in my life. And, and it's funny to me uh, how the Word of God and how we use these words also apply to Scripture. Um, the last part, the latter part of this verse is, is something that I want you to focus on and, and really think about. And Paul says at the very end of the verse, he says, And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of God. So you and I have a final destination. Uh, every one of us in this world have a final destination once this life ends. And if you're a child of God and you have given your life over to Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you're going to get into what the Bible refers to, what Paul here is referring to as 
uh, and what we as Christians refer to as the kingdom of God, because that's our ultimate place where we will be. But we need to confirm some souls while we're on our way, uh, and which means we need to reach out to those who are lost and share the gospel of Jesus Christ and understand that it is through much tribulation. Through much tribulation, we are able to get through this. It's not in tribulation. Whatever trouble you are going through, whatever obstacle you're facing, whatever trial you're, you're currently sitting in, it's temporal. It will not last. It will be gone. Much like 2020 uh, will be gone in the next uh, 30 days, it will be over. Um, and we will be moving into a new year. And the God that was the God of 2020 and the God of 2019 will still be the God of 2021. Um, our trials will not stop simply because the calendar, uh, the page of the calendar has flipped over. So my encouragement to you today is really encourage one another. I want you to pray for one another, lift one another up. Because we're all going through some sort of a trial and tribulation, but who are you going through it with? Um, I want to encourage you to understand this morning as well that the troubles and the trials that we're facing today, we will get through them. You will get through them. Um, put your faith and trust in the God of salvation. Put the faith and trust in the creation of man and the creator of man uh, because he's the one that will get you through your trials. Um, it, it, it amazes me how, how God works in and through our lives. Did you know every trial, every tribulation that you face is to make you stronger, to build your faith in the one that you're putting your faith in. So put your faith in Jesus Christ today. Know that he will get you through this trial, get you through the tribulation of your day, and know that you will come out on the other side either learning the lesson that God wants you to learn or being able to share that, um, that obstacle that you faced with someone else who may be going through the same thing. Uh, but confirm one another, exhort one another, lift one another up, and share the gospel with someone today who doesn't know you. Let's close in a word of prayer. Father, I come before you this morning. I want to thank you for your blessings. I thank you for your mercy, your grace. I thank you for this day that you've given to us, Lord. Father, I don't know what kind of trials and tribulations and what kind of uh, struggles and obstacles that somebody may be facing this morning. But Father, I know that your ever guiding hand is leading them. I pray, Father, that we as Christians would realize that we get through the tribulations uh, by trusting you and putting our faith in you and knowing that we will get through it. Lord, we will not stay there. We will not be abiding there. Your word says that we will get through them. I love you, I praise you, and I thank you for it. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.